Number 1. Town Hall, Staduis. Impressive building and very informative tour. The tour guide did a great job explaining the history of the building and the city and pointing out details that I would not have noticed otherwise. All in all an hour well spent. Tickets are available at the tourist info center nearby. Number 2. Groot Beginhof. This serene area used to be the residence of Beginjner, now converted to be the residence of KU professors, guests, and research students. The well-preserved houses and garden worth a visit. The area is very quiet and nice for an evening walk. It is located 10 minutes walk from Old Town Hall. Worth a visit as it is in UNESCO heritage. Number 3. Botanical Garden Kruidjuan. This garden celebrated its 500th anniversary a few years ago. It is a wonderful refuge in every season. There is a peaceful feel to it and if you can visit when the wisteria is in bloom in the spring, don't miss it. You will, however, find a lovely array of colors throughout most of the year. Number 4. Old Market Square. We came here for the longest bar crawl in the world. It was good fun but different to what we expected even on a Saturday night the area does not really come to life until after midnight, and even then is fairly relaxed. Better for couples or small groups than a typical bar crawl I would say. Number 5. University Library and Bell Tower. This huge building with millions book collection is another landmark of Leuven. To visit the library and tower you need to pay for a fee. A huge plaza in front of the library with no obstruction is the best place to take pictures. The surrounding area is restaurants. Number 6. Great Market Square, Grote Market. This area is considered as Old Town of Leuven, surrounded by amazing Town Hall and St. Peter Cathedral. A lot of old-style buildings and restaurants. Nothing very special, as it is just a square area with old buildings converted to restaurants. I did not expect to see here a beautiful and very impressive building. Number 7. Provincial Domian Kesselow. Visited here with friends as a group on holiday. Ideal for mid-coronavirus activities as able to socially distance whilst still enjoying the lovely weather and scenery. Lots for kids of all ages to do with climbing frames, wooden obstacle courses and slides etc. Number 8. Stella Artois Brewery. Finding the start of the tour is not that easy, the map on the ticket from the tourist office is not that great, but we arrived just a few moments before one. Once kid out with our Hivis jackets 25 of us were taken first to a little film about the history of the brewery and brewing in Leuven, before visiting the brewing hall and finally on to bottling. Number 9. St. Peter's Church, St. Pieterskirk. The architecture of the church is unique with sharp and fine structures at every point and converges them all at the top slash roof. It stands testimony to the architecture skills prevalent at that time. The stained glass windows, if observed, could show many of the glass panes are just plain white. Number 10. Leuven Train Station. It is a nice yet old station which was renovated a while ago, exposing all the old glamour which was previously hidden. The platform are covered by a big roof although the ends are not. There is a Starbucks inside. In front of the station as well as at the back is an underground car park. Hope you like this video for more videos please subscribe to our channel.